Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Coding Interview Must Know series. Today, we're tackling a very common interview problem, valid anagram, checking if two strings are anagrams of each other. So, what exactly is an anagram? It's simple. Given two strings, you need to determine if they contain exactly the same characters with the same frequency. The order doesn't matter, only the types and counts of characters. For example, anagram and nagaram have the same letters, just in a different order, so they are anagrams. On the other hand, rat and car share some letters, but not the same overall composition, so they are not. The first and most straightforward solution is to sort both strings and compare them. This is easy to understand and simple to implement. One line of code sorts each string, then you just compare. But the time complexity is n log n because sorting dominates. In interviews, you'll usually be asked for a more efficient solution. The second approach uses a hash map to count character frequencies. First, we scan the first string, incrementing counts for each character. Then we scan the second string, decrementing the counts. If all counts return to zero, the strings are anagrams. If any count is not zero, they're not. The Python implementation is straightforward. First, compare the lengths. If they differ, return false immediately. Then use a dictionary to track frequencies, adding for the first string and subtracting for the second. Finally, check that all values are zero. This runs in on time and uses ok space, where k is the number of unique characters. It's clear, efficient, and interview friendly. The third approach is an optimization of the hash map method. If the input only contains lowercase letters a to z, we can use a fixed size array of length 26 to count frequencies. Each position represents a letter. Scan the first string and increment counts. Scan the second string and decrement. At the end, if all array entries are zero, the strings are anagrams. The Python implementation is simple. Use a list of size 26. For each character in the first string, increase its count. For the second string, decrease the count. Finally, check if all elements are zero. Because the array size is fixed, the space complexity is O1, and the time complexity remains ON. This is often the most recommended approach in interviews and is the most efficient solution.